Hey guys, t Peps with Toonzilla. Um, today in this video, I'm gonna be showing Mark 8 GTI, our owners, um, mechatronic bootloader swap. This swap has gotten pretty popular on the internet lately. A lot of people are buying them. Um, you can do it yourself, but there's things that can go wrong and it can break easily. So I'm just gonna do a little step-by-step -step and show you how we do it here to hopefully prevent any sort of damage to this. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing this on a, a mechatronic that we've had laying around since we started this project. Um, so don't mind the bit of damage here. It's been sitting in a box for a while, but uh, just using it for the demonstration. So normally when you take your mechatronic out, this is what you're gonna see. Um, the bootloader is actually this big plastic piece here, and it's held onto your valve body with four bolts. So this one doesn't have the four bolts, but I'll just show you where they would normally be. There'd be two bolts here and two bolts here holding it in. So all you wanna do is take those bolts off first and then we have to try to pull the bootloader off of the valve body. So there's a series of things that have to happen at the same time in order for this to come off smoothly. Um, first of all, so there's these little tabs in here that need to be pulled apart so the top part of the bootloader can pull up. It's seated on these two locating posts right here and it has to come up and then you kind of have to tilt it back and swivel it out of here. So you can do it with your fingers. It just kind of pops. up. Sometimes it goes easier than others, but this is an important step. It does have to come straight up. So once you get it off of the post, tilt it back, and then this piece here with the pins on it will tilt back, and then you can just grab it and pull it out of the pin locations down here. Okay, so install is exactly the same as taking it off. Um, you do just wanna check that your O-rings are still here for the pressure sensors. Um, but basically it's super simple. It's actually probably harder getting it on than, than uh, taking it off. But what you do is Locate your pins down here. You know, locate these into their slots. And then once these are in, your next step is to line these slots up with this little plate here. And you might actually have to lift it up a little bit in order to do that. Okay, once that's pretty engaged there, you wanna make sure you can still pull up on your bootloader. So pull it up, line it up with the locating posts. And push it all back down. Then normally you would go on and reinstall the bolts that were located here. Like I said, I don't have them, but you just install those and torque them down to 11 newt meters. And that's really all you need to do. If for whatever reason, your bootloader doesn't have this spring clip, that will need to be swapped over from your old one. And these seals all need to be in good condition. So just give those a look over before you throw this back into your car. Basically it's mechatronic back into the DSG, put your cover plate back on, fill it with oil and um, you're done basically.